working with genius, placing it at a higher pedestal than talent has always been problematic when it comes to analyzing art and artists. William Shakespeare was a genius. Rabindranath Thakur was one, and so was Shruti Rai. To compare any filmmaker of that era with Rai, time and again, is to hoodwink our own analytical capabilities. Critics fail miserably when they try to measure everyone using the same lens. This monumental blunder singed all compatriots of Rai, but damaged the Hongshinipo the most. Just as some trees which grow very well in the initial years are hideously peculiar with time, so do human beings as they age. Ultimately, we deserve the face and the fate we have as we embellish or denude out histories and that of our family. Many artists, blessed with promise and fortitude, fail with time. This does not diminish the glory they earned for their earlier work. But an artist who adapts well is a thinking being, acutely aware of his role in the context of society and time. A young Kapun Shingo turned to classics for the content of his films. The stories have an element of latent harmony. With age, cynicism usually grips the best of us, but Tokun's conscience trilogy was full of raging angst against society and the system. The anti-establishment traits, however, almost always culminated in closed endings in his films, either on a happy note or occasionally tragic one. The multifarious ambiguity that marks the works of several extraordinary artists was never Tokun Shingo's forte. But within the realms of conventional narrative storytelling, Tokun Shingo could expand his boundaries and that of quasi commercial films. His sensitivities evolved over time as he confined himself to the world of the middle class, which he knew well. His discipline as a filmmaker is what emulating for every newbie. In his subdued attempts at experimentation, his drive to explore different facets of human life, his simple rendition of complex stories, his strong belief in the ultimate nobility of the human soul. Kaupon Shingo's films hold up a unique mirror to our lives and to the society we live in. Not many filmmakers who succeeded Kaupon Shingo so valued in his brand of filmmaking, unfortunately. Through some, of his, through some of his films, he achieved an intangible grace. His body of work echoes across time. His cinema touches you even when it is detached from your own lived reality. That is why he triumphed. No other filmmaker in Bengali cinema was so diverse, so commercially successful, yet humble like the illustrious Tokun Shingo. This is my latest book on cinema. And the book title is The Cinema of Tokun Shingo, an introduction. This is published, published by Home Books International. It is available in Amazon and also in most of the leading bookstores, including Starmark.